Welcome to True Hill Heat 17. This guy. I just received the package. I mean, I love my package, actually. It's actually, I love, I love, my, I love my package anyway. I'm just on my, my actual package. But, oh! This is like I'm still on an all-in high. This is like commercial now. I'm still like an all-in high right now. Ah, my all-in flip shirt. Flip! 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 Oh, oh, my bad. What you saying? You can't purchase these shirts. My bad. What you saying? This oh, this really, is exclusive. This is a really bad commercial. If you wasn't at All In, you can't get this. But, um, as you were saying? Welcome to True Hill Heat 17, True Hill Debate of the Day. This is ISP3, the top guy, JJ. This is where we debate these topics that you, the True Hill Heat fans, want to hear about. So, we got the WWE... Hell in a Cell pay-per-view this Sunday, tomorrow, Sunday, September 16th. So we're going to be talking about our best and favorite Hell in a Cell matches. Hell in a Cell is started in 1997 at the Bad Blood pay-per-view. All those years ago, we are now nearly, what, 21 years ago, it all started. Wow. So many different matches have come through it 1998. Throughout. Was it 98? No, 1997. 1997. 1997, Bad Blood pay-per-view, October. It started with Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker. So many big moments have King happened. King of the Ring, 98, was a signature one. Uh, King and Ring 90, 98 had the Mankind the and the Undertaker, Ooh, the, infa blood. the infamous one. So Kane's debut. What do you got? What do you say is the best, your favorite Hell in a Cell matches? Uh, best? I mean, I gotta go with that one that we just started talking about. Just because it had everything. It had all entertainment aspects. I have to go with the obvious one. And my one of the obvious ones, which is Taker and Sean. Which also involved the debut of the monster Kane. Like, it was just... It had everything you wanted in a match. Like, it had the spots. It had the entertainment. It was good quality wrestling. It was very neck and neck. It looked like Undertaker was going to pull it out until the arena turned dark. And then the whole arena turned red. And then it was this big red mask dude came out and ripped the door. Like, it had all the theatrics in a fantastic match. And... That right there, like, that is, to me, WWE's signature Hell in a Cell match. I mean, everything came to, like, a big conclusion and payoff in that match. You have the storyline, which, you know, building up to that match, you know, Hell in a Cell used to mean something. Hell in a Cell was the feud ender, and it was built up to, and it made sense when the Hell in a Cell came in, especially when it comes to the Undertaker Shawn Michaels feud, because Shawn had to get Rick Rude, China, Triple H, make Degeneration X to come back against the Undertaker. And he never wanted to fight the Undertaker one on one. He always had DX on his back, or he always used to run away. So they had to build the Hell in a Cell structure to fit these two men to finally settle their rivalry inside. And like he said, it's a match that has everything. It's the classic big man, uh, big man versus the agile small competitor throughout the whole entire complex, uh, whole entire contest. Uh, big bumps by Shawn Michaels falling through the table. Triple H gets involved. China gets involved. But then at the end, the Kane debut. Just had a Honorable mention to the big red machine. It's gotta be Kane. That's gotta be Kane. Good God. This is monster. <laughs> Any other ones you want to mention for best Hell in a Cells that you've seen? Uh, I'm gonna give an honorable mention also to um, another one of my favorite Hell in a Cell matches that's probably not talked about as much, and that's the first match of the Hell in a Cell between Undertaker and Brock Lesnar. Because just because, one, it was a better match than anticipated, and the finish was so unexpected. <laughs> it was so unexpected. Nobody thought that Brock Lesnar was just gonna own that match, which he owned that match. Which kind of when he broke the streak, it it was shocking, but it really wasn't as shocking as you might have thought. Because if you remember the history, Brock kind of owned Undertaker. So that's another one of my absolute favorite matches. It was another really, really good match in my opinion. And that to me is kind of what I look for in these matches. I'm not looking for the obvious cage tosses and all that shit. I want to see some good action. And I, th I thought that was a really, really good match. And one of Undertaker's best matches. Okay. 
All right. So, yeah, I mean, I could definitely agree with you with, like, the Michaels and the Undertaker. Of course, there is the classic one between Undertaker and Mankind with Mankind getting thrown off the cell 20 feet, crashing through the table, and then getting choke slammed through the cage itself. That's the one that's known for its major spots. Of course, the first one is known for being the first one, and that was a five-star classic. But in my opinion, the best Hell in a Cell match I ever seen was actually against Triple H versus Cactus Jack at No Way Out 2000. And with Cactus Jack career on the line, mm -hmm. this match told the best story that Foley's been a part of in the Hell in a Cell. Hell in a Cell with The Undertaker had big major bumps, but this was the best told story. This was them having to follow the great classic matchup that they had at Royal Rumble 2000 in the New York, New York City street fight, and then took it to a whole nother level inside Hell in a Cell. You had thumbstacks, you had Triple H getting hit with a barbed wire bat, and then he just basically backdrops Foley through the cell cage, down to the, down to the ring, and he almost falls through the ring. Just a great match top to bottom and very and you know people like I said are go back and look at Michaels versus Taker if they want to see the five star classic with Hell in a Cell or they go to Mankind and Undertaker for the major spots. This one I feel was a combination of both together and that's why I feel it's the best my favorite Hell in a Cell match. But like you said, your also your personal favorite was Brock versus Taker. My personal favorite with Hell in a Cell history is the Armageddon Hell in a Cell. The six, the six man match from Armageddon 2000 that had Rikishi, Undertaker, Kurt Angle, Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, and Fantastic match. Triple H. That was one of the, the one of the most entertaining Hell in a Cell. Th that's matches. like a who's who. Yeah. In that match, and I mean, all of those guys are WWE Hall of Famers. I just say that I've had multiple favorites to Hell in a Cell matches. The Undertaker Brock is definitely one of my favorites, but it's there's just multiple. They have a lot of great matches for Hell in a Cell. Like yeah. there really is. And WWE, like I hope to God somebody's listening because there's some. You guys had some good shit. You guys had some good shit. Now, what? I hope to God we get some added memories this Sunday. I but hope. I one would hope. My doubt is my doubt is very high. I mean, I will give it to Roman and Braun Strowman. I feel like they have the potential to really go out there and deliver. They they had a great ambulance match last year, and ambulance matches are not known for being great. But Roman and Braun were able to pull that out. And every time they get a stipulation oh, match. Roman threw himself into the ambulance? Yeah, Roman threw himself into the ambulance. And then he committed a vehicular manslaughter after yeah, the Yeah, he tried to kill him. Yeah, he tried to kill him. But that wasn't the heel turn. He anyway, but he Roman... Still, he Roman, still wasn't heel after. No, he wasn't heel. Roman Reigns right. and Braun Strowman will deliver inside Hell in a Cell. And I believe they will this is a, add to the memory. This is a random question for me, actually. Uh, I don't believe... And if I'm... Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't believe Roman Reigns has been in a Hell in a Cell match before. Yes, oh, but it's not the ones with Brock Lesnar. My bad. He didn't have the one with Brock Lesnar. No, Hell in a no, Cell. Was no. there another one prior to that? He didn't verse Brock Lesnar in Hell in a Cell. He has he has a victory over Bray Wyatt. Oh, it was in still Hell Cage. It was yeah. still Cage. He Brock has the Lesnar. victory over Bray Wyatt in Hell in a Cell back in 2015. Oh, damn, that was such an unmemorable match. That's why I guess why I didn't remember it. Pretty much. That match, Pretty that much. must have been trash. So my, my it match was actually was a, a really good match. Yeah, up, sure it was. All the all the Hell in a Cell sure matchups since it sure became it a pay per view are largely forgettable. What would you say has been your favorite from this uh, two, post two thousand nine Hell in a Cell pay per view? Definitely era? the Usos versus the New Day last year. Okay. That was fantastic. Like they pulled out new stops. Like they did some new things. In, you know, brought the Kendo Stick game in there heavy. Like they had new spots in there, and it was all in the confines of the cell. That's what made it so awesome is that they stayed inside because most of these matches tend to go outside and then they create their spots on the outside. This was all inside the cell, which was so incredible with everything that they did inside the ring. And you can tell, and this is why I love when great tag teams and great friends, they make the best matches. And the fact that that, to me, that was, to me, my one of my favorite, if not probably going into my favorite Hell in a Cell match, because I could watch that shit over and over and over and still be entertained highly by it. That, that was a really good one. Another tag team matchup from this uh, pay-per-view era of the Hell in a Cell that I really liked was DX versus The Legacy from the first ever Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. 
that was actually a really good one. It was it actually had a really cool story where uh, basically Cody and Ted DiBiase trapped uh, Triple H outside the Hell in a Cell and they were beating on Shawn Michaels for the entire match and then they reversed it at the end. Triple H got Cody out of the cell, Hell in a Cell and then him and Michaels were able to double team Ted DiBiase. So the tag team Hell in a Cell seems to be the ones that create at least a different enough story to make it different mm -hmm. and stand out in this post pay-per-view era for Hell in a Cell. So you guys, our, pay our YouTube subscribers, please put in the comments section your favorite Hell in a Cell match. Please tell us who you thought won our debate, who you say had the better Hell in a Cell match that they mentioned. We had top guy JJ mention Shawn Michaels versus, uh, Shawn Michaels versus Undertaker from Bad Blood 1997, as well as Brock Lesnar versus The Undertaker from No Mercy 2002. I mentioned the Armageddon Hell in a Cell from Armageddon 2000, as well as Cactus Jack versus Triple H from No Way Out 2000. But please put in the comments section what you thought is the best and favorite Hell in a Cell match you ever seen. For True Hill Heat 17, this is Top Guy JJ. I'm SP3, and we're out. Still my birthday, bitches.